Welcome to Model Base Estimating, digitally connecting your Revit SISKU model to Estimation MEP for true estimating workflows. Now that you are installed and the MBE icon is active, let's publish our first components to Estimation MEP. So we're going to open our sample model. We're going to go to our level four power plan. I'm going to play around with visibility graphics a little bit. We're going to launch our model base estimating from the model base estimating icon, and we're going to give it an estimate name and a drawing name. We're going to pick the components we want to publish, and then we're going to click apply. In a later video, we'll look at more advanced techniques around selecting and publishing. So once we have that, we could select the schedule that we just created in the project browser. We're going to open it. We're going to take a look at that schedule, and then we're going to publish it to Estimation MEP. Then we'll switch over to Estimation MEP and take a look at it. Okay, from Revit, I'm going to go open. We'll go to our sample model, and I will go ahead and open that. Okay, we're going to be working on electrical, so I'll collapse my others here. I'm going to go to my level four power plan. I'm going to go ahead and turn off cable tray just to make my schedule a little bit shorter for this intro example. And once that is hidden, I'm going to go ahead and pick on my model base estimating icon. I'm going to give it a project name. Let's just call this and give it a drawing name. And we're going to pick select to select the items we want to send. I'm going to window in the whole floor plan. So my whole fourth plan electrical without my cable tray. I'll pick on finish and then I'll pick on apply. And once I pick on apply, you'll see the schedule get created over here in the schedule section. All right, let's go ahead and open up our schedule. And let's start on the left here. So we have our project name, which is what we gave it, which will also be our estimate name over in estimation MEP. We have our drawing name here, fourth floor electrical, uh, the terminal estimation system, and then the terminal estimation if it's a building data item. If this box is checked, it means that it's been matched to the building data item. And we'll see that over in estimation MEP. And then we have the name of the family and the type. So you see down here, we have some elements that are not checked for building data items, which means those will come through as custom items over an estimation MEP. You notice that we also had a pipe schedule created because some of the elements we selected were pipe elements. From estimation MEP, we'll select our estimate and open it. And you see our schedule that we published from Cisco to estimation MEP. Um, things such as conduit, you can see that the source is trade service. Those were those elements that had the BD item box checked in our schedule over in Cisco or over in Revit. And then we'll get down to elements that are not from trade service. Getting down to the custom items. So some of the compression couplings weren't matched and a few other things. But you can see for the elements that did have trade service, we have our length and our pricing. And then we have our total price for that element and the total labor hours for that element as well on that, on that line item. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.